Hey, it's Al Angelo from A Plus Racing. We're working on the Econo Build Spec Miata. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to put the belts in. All right. So we got the drop floor in there, modified the tunnel. You guys probably saw that. If you haven't, check out that video. And it shows you exactly how to get the, the big ass seat in there. Um, somebody asked me how wide the seat was that I put in here. I think I have a... Uh, I think it's a 17 inch seat and I'll show you when I go to put the seat in how I got it to fit in there. All right, so the first thing I needed, I need some belts and, and I, I did a video on selecting belts, but these belts here, if you can zoom in here, you can see they're, they're good until June of uh, 2025. And so, um, and actually this is a pretty good deal because it is J January of 2023 right now, we're filming this uh, late January. And so these belts are actually good for two and a half years. So I'm sneaking in six months because normally they're only six, uh, two years belt. So this is great. So I'm going to order some more of these. Hey, so what I did was I bought these belts from Summit Racing and they're a cam lock. And the cam lock is always nicer to have than the latch lock. The latch lock are usually cheaper. So I've watched those, those, those latch um, belts go from $69 a set to uh, like $130 a set, all right? So, and that's just for the latch. So I saw these were on sale at Summit and they still do have our certification. So when you're picking out a set of belts for a Spec Miata, they have to at least be the 16.1 SFI. Now, they do make FIA belts, which are good for five years. These belts are only good for two years. And so, but those FIA belts are usually three to four times the price of this. So, um, I'm, you know, I'm just putting these ones in here. But, man, what a deal. I think these were $120. They're certified, and, um, and it's cam lock. So, and they came with um, the, uh, the quick release ends down here. And I'm going to show you where we need those here a little bit later on. So, first off, before we get started putting this thing in, we got to get everything set up for it. So come on in. I'm going to show you what we got. So you guys probably remember this. This is our tunnel. And um, I drilled a hole right here because normally there's a hole right here that's tapped. And that's where the original belt could have bolted to. But um, so we drilled a hole here. And then I bought this from Summit Racing here, this little kit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on that, the other side of this. And I'm going to thread this through there and we're going to have our eye on there over here on the inside if you look i've already threaded it on here i got an eye that threads right into the original seat belt um bolt that's already part of the frame and luckily enough for us it's the same exact thread as you get these from summit racing or your racing shop they thread they just thread right on in so we threaded it in we tightened it up i like it straight up and down so i can i can put my clip on there and it'll grab a hold of it all right, so um, the only thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to position the seat in here to find out where we're going to need to put one of these or a way to anchor the crotch belt on, on the seat belt. So our next step right now is to go ahead and put this on there, set the seat in here where we're going to want it, and then find out where I'm going to need to come up for that through the seat for the crotch belt, drill a hole, and we'll find a way to anchor that. I think I have another couple more of these. All right, so we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back with the seatbelt install. So come here and I'll, I'll show you what we've done so far. So <clears throat> I showed you that we put in one of these right there, okay? And then we did the same thing right here, all right? And then this one, it just threads right into there without this because it threads right into the body. So we've got all of our, our seat belt hooks in place all right so let me show you how we go about installing those <clears throat> all right so i need to figure out which direction does all this go okay so these really long ones um these go over your shoulders so let's go in here and we'll set it in and i'll show you how to how to lace them up because they need to be laced up a certain way all right <clears throat> So we have everything here we need. Okay, so I have the belt like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come from underneath and then I'm going to go through the belt loop here, okay, like that. And then I'm going to go through it again like that. 
Okay? Now, we're not done yet. When we do finally get this to where we want it, this needs to come back. It's going to come back through here one more time. And it's a tight fit, but it'll fit. Because they won't pass inspection unless you have it like that. And this needs to be tighter over here. So let's just get it close to where I think it kind of needs to be. These belts are super long. So we're probably going to, I don't normally cut the belt, but I think we're going to cut them. And then uh, <clears throat> I think that this will be a lot closer. Okay. I'm going there like that. Well, this one goes here, and I'm going to leave it like this. Oops. Not quite like that. <laughs> I'm going to leave it like this until after I got the seed in, and I see where these... I, I fit it for the last time, okay? So I'm not going to go, I'm not going to finish it off like I showed you. That, that, that needs to be finished. All right. I'm going to make this one the same. Let's take this apart here. And I'm going to make sure that they're about the same length. And I like doing this without the seat being in it because uh, it's just easier for me to get my big hand down in there. All right. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So let's see. A little too much. I'm kind of looking at these and making them about the same, the same length. Okay. And I want these belts just about an inch or so away from that bar. Like that. Okay. <clears throat> so those aren't finished yet. So don't don't show up at the racetrack like this because they'll they'll send your ass home, all right? So I'll even finish this one just so you, once again you can see how it's supposed to be, but we might end up moving it again. All right, so I'm just going to weave this right back through there again. And then <clears throat> what I do sometimes is I'll, uh, I'll roll this up because I don't like this thing flapping behind me when I'm at neck brake speed on the racetrack. So I'll roll it up like this, like that, <clears throat> and then I'll put uh, a zip tie right around here, like that. Okay. Um, now, some some people, the seat kind of holds uh, these in place, but I found these on another car, and I'll get them show you real quick. I don't know where I got these. Uh, there, I saw, found them in a toolbox. But sometimes what we could do is we can mount these on here, and then that keeps the belts from sliding, you know, one way or the other. And I, I might do that to this car. Okay. Sometimes, I've in the past when I build my own cages, sometimes I'll even weld in a little piece of wire right in here uh, just so that these don't move around too much. Okay. So those are good. All right. <clears throat> now, let's get these. All right, so we'll do these ones. This one's easier. Okay, so uh, it has this, all right? It came with this. I don't want to use that. I want to use this. And this came with these belts, which is cool. I didn't have to buy these. So let me show you how we get rid of this. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this belt off of here. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to give us some room. We're going to need some room. And then I'm going to weave this in here. Now, sometimes you see like it's, it's too big for it. So we just kind of curl it a little bit like that. And I'm going to want it to go on yeah, like the way I got it. Like 
like that. I think these are a pretty good value on the belt. I got one of my employees is going to be going to the racetrack. I told him make sure that he uh, checks all the cars and lets me know how many of them need belts. I'll just order a whole bunch of these. All right, we got that on there. Put this one, and it's the same thing. Now we're going to finish this one off. So, yeah, not so long. And then we're going to come back. Okay. And then this one just hooks in here, like that. Now, if you notice on here, there's a little hole. What that hole is for is for a carter pin. We're going to put that in there so that this can't pop off. And so they won't pass inspection unless you've got that carter pin in there. All right, so let's go ahead and do the other side. This one right here. So this one goes here. So we're going to use this again. Take that off of there. Move it back a little bit. that on there. Hey, that Q&A Monday is really doing well. See, you guys like that. I'm glad it's helping out a lot of you. Okay. Weave this through here. All right. Okay, and then we're going to come back over it. And that finishes this belt off. I mean, it's a little bit of a tight fit, but like you saw, I got on the other one, so it'll fit. Sometimes it's a little snug, but that's the way they are. You got to do it right. They won't, they won't sign it off. Ask me how I know. Okay. All right. I want to make sure the belt's not twisted. Okay, so like that. All right. I kind of probably gonna turn that up a little bit like that. All right. Okay, good. All right. So we got that one, and we got that one, and we got these two are on there, correct? All right. This one here. So we have our hook here. So we're not going to use this. Um, I mean, you could. I don't like bolting them down like that because it pinches the belt against the metal. So unless you shimmed it up, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. All right. If you still had this on there, there have been times when I bolted this on there. Um, you could kind of see we placed a seat in here and we marked uh, where the opening is for the seat and then we put it on there. But I'm going to need to get a quick, another one of those clips, which just, it only came with two. So uh, I'm going to take this off and then I'm going to have to break here for a minute and go get, and go get it. So I'll be right back. Okay. So look, uh, I found one in the back room. All right, so this hook's on right here. These, you know, I keep these around because sometimes we need little brackets and stuff, and I use these and I weld them on. So I don't, I don't throw those away. Okay, so I got another one of these. So let's go ahead and get it set up. So put this on there like that. Then I'm just weaving the belt through there. Now, this is going to have to be an adjustment to get the crotch belt the right length, all right? So I can already tell that it's too short or too long. So let me, let me lengthen it a little bit here because it's going to need to sit, you know, just below the belly button on the driver. So we'll move it up like that. Okay. So it's nice that you can access this with the seat in the car so that you can uh, adjust that. Probably still too too long. Let me take a little more out of it. Usually right up by that stick. I think it's going to be up there by that tag. And just this is just from experience of us. Yeah, that looks a lot better. All right, okay. We'll give that one a try. And we're going to finish it off. Uh, okay. All right. That's good. 
and then this hooks up on here like that okay I brought um, some carter pins here and we're just going to push them all the way through like that and then bend them over there's that one that one and one more and we're gonna be legal there we go okay all right so that's in and we can double check to make sure it all works okay it pops all off that one goes there that one goes there that one goes there that one goes there we're ready for the seat. <laughs> All right. Let's get this seat put in this thing. Let's get this thing to racetrack. It's got to go to SCCA school in a few weeks. I already rented it out. We've never driven it yet. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks for chiming in. I'll see you at the racetrack.